Lancaster live here on the ET Sports Network. Each Wednesday from noon to one, broadcasting live from the Huffman Student Activities area of the campus of ETBU. We've got our studio audience as well as students eating their lunch, getting a nice sub connection sandwich as well. Our guest now here on ET Extra is the running back, one of the running backs, I should say, is Kendall Robertson, transferred in from Wayland Baptist. He's a senior from Little Cornell High School. And, and Kendall, uh, the game Saturday. Uh, Coach talked about how y'all fell behind, momentum was kind of changing, but you got it back. What does it mean as a player to see your team jail together that way and come out with the victory over Southwestern 46 37? Uh, personally, as a team, uh, you know, we've been working on correcting the last mistakes, you know, uh, not finishing close games. Um, I think as a team, we've done better with that. Um, offense came together, defense did a great job getting this ball back multiple times. You know, we just got to capitalize a little faster, but um, overall, I just feel like, um, you know, without the defense effort, without all of our effort coming in together, um, I don't know if we pulled up or not, but um, nobody had in there got in their head, so we <laughs> were able to come out and win. You had a run in that ball game that I thought was amazing as a broadcaster. It's hard for me to explain how many blocks you went off of and other blocks and ended up getting down there and, and scoring. Kind of talk to me as a, as a runner. Give us a give us a, inside your head as you're running. What are you looking for to get that little edge to get around the defender? Well, they loaded up the rocks pretty good. We're on the goal line. And, you know, you, you want to see a little squeeze. So um, um, I hold in those situations. And J-Mag or uh, Freeman can tell you that. You know, being they probably can get range. So uh, my head is just like a stretch when you're doing. I got through with a couple of guys there. So um, big man, uh, one on one. So, got lucky, I guess, on a couple of them, and uh, I had a couple of receivers blocking down the field for me. So, I mean, it's really nerve wracking. It's a little tired. I probably could have finished some of them. Hey, if you want to see those runs, uh, check out the ETB YouTube page and Google the Southwestern game and, and watch the highlights from the ball game. You'll see some amazing runs by running back Kendall Roberson. Roberson, you've been named the American Southwest Conference Co Offensive Player of the Week. Uh, just because of your effort in the ball game, you had 23 carries, 214 yards, touchdown runs of 38 to 31. Uh, as an individual, you've got to be happy that someone recognized your talent this week. Yeah, that's a true blessing uh, anytime you get recognized, but uh, I feel like the offensive line and, and some of those guys that were black, they don't get recognized enough, you know. So, uh, I mean, that award is just a reflection of how good the offensive line is, you know. So, uh, you know, much respect to those guys. And the receivers did a great job, but they on the outside, he had very good blocks. Um, and just the coaching stuff, you know, we worked all week very hard, you know, to where uh, when you get to the game, it's pretty easy. You know, I don't want to say easy like that, but I mean, we work so hard throughout the week, so the game time is pretty much just fun. So, uh, you know, the arm is great, and uh, I, I get praised off to run and all the guys as well, but, uh, you know, mostly, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's fun, you know, just football. Well, Kendall, another easy question for you. As a senior member of the squad, what do you like about how this team is coming together this year as compared to last year in the were junior? Um, just the adversity, the, uh, the way we overcome and adapt to things. You know, I feel uh, this year we have a lot of younger guys, and they just jumped on board with us. You know, we've been a senior, a couple of guys made or uh, all of us, you know, we're trying to, you know, install these younger guys, you know, just keep going. You know, when adversity comes, be able to overcome it. And, um, you know, as the coaches talk to us a lot about it, I mean, they're, they're really in tune with a lot. You know, it took them quicker to adjust to things, and we were down a little bit in the game. Nobody put their head down, nobody, you know, say we're out, you know, as opposed to last year where, you know, we, we fought three tough games and three opponents, you know, we just weren't able to bounce back. But I feel like this team is a good team, you know, we're all ready to come in, so, I mean, adversity for us is just, it's just walk away. I'm from East Texas, and I always say East Texas football is the best high school. But you're from Lubbock, Coronado, a, a team that people look at every year, well, that's a powerhouse. Is West Texas Panhandle football better than East Texas high school football? Which one is that? Put you on the spot, Kendall. I don't think I can touch me. <laughs> I'm in East Texas. They give me much love right here. All the coaches, I don't, that's a question I'm going to answer. <laughs> um, it's, it's good football. Any Texas football, I can do As long as it's Texas, I'm not going to more shot than just whatever. I'm playing up there in Lubbock, playing high school football. Ever played in a real cold ball game? It was real cold. How cold was that? <laughs> we played uh, middle league one time. It was very cold. And it's windy. You know, it's cold up there. It's really windy. It's not like the trees where y'all have cold nights after. So, I mean, the atmosphere here is very beautiful. Last question. What's it like being a student athlete on the campus of East Texas Baptist University? Do you get support from professors and students and things like that? Kind of tell me your experience as a student athlete here at East Yeah, it's, it's, it's a real, it's a mesh page. You know, I like it all. I mean, um, the teachers, you know, they'll talk to you uh, personally. They know you about the name. Um, I think 
think every teacher I've had up to this point has told me to cry about the game and you know, they're real active with you. Campus looks good all the time. Actually, they're on campus, so you know, I try to keep it looking pretty decent sometimes. Uh, you know, it's in the right hand trash or anything like that. But I have. It's pretty, I have. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's pretty awesome right now. I like it. Well, Kendall, thank you for being a guest today, and best to you and your Tiger Saturday as you face Louisiana College. Hope we can say there's a tiger in the end zone, and his name is Kendall Robertson. Saturday is a tiger space. We've got college their first American Southwest Conference game of the year. When we come back, we're going to talk Lady Tiger Volleyball and the big win they had last night for the Red Tiger. Don't go away. Each reactor live from the campus of East Texas Baptist University. We'll be back in 60 seconds.